Hello, welcome back. We got some games, some new ones, some freshies. Kojin versus Kyle. Uh, thanks, Kojin, for sending the demos over. An absolute legend of the game, Kojin is. Uh, Kyle, apparently fairly new, but definitely not new to FPS overall. Don't know where it's come from, but played enough Synotic now that we can definitely say has the feel for the game. Kojin's uh, tag is actually practice partner for Kyle for president, which <laughs> is a hell of a name. I didn't think it'd fit really um, when I saw that first on the on a server. I was like, that, "Really? That fits?" Grabbing the first blood with the electro, though. This is the new Era Walk map, by the way. Absolutely stunning. Really, really like it. Uh, made by Smile Scythe, I'm told. Um, it is basically Hub Era Walk, the old one that we had, which was still the Quake 1 1 rather than the Hubsters remix. Don't know quite what the naming was happening in Xenotic there, but hey. It looks absolutely stunning. It really fits the theme of the game a lot better than the Quake 1. Um, I'll still like the Quake 1, but that's going to be in the same vein as CPM players playing CPM 3 rather than 3A. Kojin picking up two frags, getting a good start on Kyle and managing to find the third as Kyle pushes in a little bit aggressively. Kojin's playing very passively. I haven't actually seen very much of Kojin playing at all outside of a few frag movies. Uh, he made the um, second community frag movie, Prepare to Respawn. Incredible movie, please do go and watch that one. Go watch everything. Go watch the first one as well, it's really good. That was made by Zero QL. Yeah, Kojin been away from the game for a while. Rejoined the game while I was away from the game. Or at least away from Duel. And great to see him back. Great to see Kyle as well being a newcomer into the game. Very slow pace, especially for Arrowhawk. Not the sort of gameplay we usually see, but... Going very low, picking up both the armor and the health, but losing a lot of health in the process. But denying that from Kyle is probably for the best right now. If Kojin can manage to keep himself, he's using this Electro beautifully. Incredible. I've never seen someone do that before, I don't think. Go with the Electro uh, and use that as their rocket jump up. Probably because you'd most likely use the blaster. Look at that baiting Kyle out, but he wasn't in the right position to take advantage of it, actually. Manages to frag Kyle on the Mega as it spawns, picks up that. We have got the LG on this, but it's not being used as much as you'd have thought it would be used, actually. Uh, we have well, the Arc, not the LG, but, you know. It's not in the same place as it usually is. It's replacing the machine gun down at the bottom, but that is a map feature rather than a server feature. We are on champ servers. I believe that is a default change. It's a good change. The machine gun isn't great, but it does hold its place um, compared to the arc. It is an in Both are interesting weapons. They both deserve to exist, really. Kojin using the rocket launcher, which is very interesting. Um, clearly been playing quite a lot of clan arena if you're going to be doing that. Or you believe you're going to need to attack with the rocket launcher right over the top of that. Otherwise you'd pop up the blaster. Clan Arena probably the only game mode ever where you wouldn't use the blaster. Well, that and defrag. But... Kojin absolutely taking a command of this map. Finds the massacre. It's a very slow-paced game for a massacre to be happening. You'd have thought some control would go the other way, but Kojin's keeping the weapons, keeping Carl down the back. Not too many spawn frags. There's not been... Well, Kojin's just not really been in this position, but he's manages to pick up the spawn frag with that. One of the most Electro I think I've seen used, actually. You very rarely see Electro get used in this game. Uh... But Kojin's definitely using it, listens for where Kyle is. He's really controlling this centre position. Wherever Kyle wants to be, Kojin's going to plant himself there and control it. And just play the control. Whereas we see a lot of people in these games, they'll be moving around a lot. They'll be playing fast. They'll be trying to move. Kyle seems to be trying to do that. Kojin using every weapon you can to get across. I believe you can get across there with the secondary on the arc. Um, which is kind of like a BFG. So we'll see if Kojin's actually going to use that to get across, and that will probably complete the set, I believe. 
at least for weapons that are on this map since no Hagar. But yeah, we're not seeing... I think Carl wants to play this fast, fast, aggressive playstyle. The, uh, the moving around, the constant, constant floating, you know, doing this but all the way around the map. Rather than completely dead stopping. You very rarely see it on Arrowwalk. It's a, it's a very... Are you seeing Quake Live? It's an effective playstyle. I mean, you can really see how effective it is. Kojin just able to connect all these shots. He knows where Carl's going to be. Finds him up the top there. Yeah, effective playstyle, but at the same time... Yeah, more of a Quake Live. Something, we'd, something you would see in Quake Live or... Even Zenotic when this map's played... Uh, sorry, not this is Zenotic. Unreal Tournament when this map usually played in 2k4. That's the sort of thing you'd see. But it's an interesting playstyle. It? Yeah, it, do it does work. It does does suggest something that potentially... like As I say, I've not really seen Kojin's... Uh, Cogent play he can play fast of course everybody has to be able to at least to be good be able to play fast he's hitting great shots air shots incredible always love a good air shot they are they are proof that you have complete mastery of the physics of the game Kyle got a death just there sorry about that noise um Carl, yes, yeah, so Carl grabbing a suicide just there. Not great for him. Currently, really, really far behind. I'm not sure if this was one of Carl's first games in Xenotic. This is a fairly old demo. Not 100% sure when it's from. But. Yeah, having seen Carl play, he's definitely a. Definitely a. A high level. I wouldn't quite say he's absolutely at the top, top level yet. He's def I mean, if you if you talk in numbers, this is the thing. Are you talk how, what sort of numbers are you talking? Because there's the classic champs, top ten out of ten. Like, yeah, I'm top ten dueler, but there's only ten lads. Um, but yeah, Kyle definitely um, definitely up there though. Definitely up there in these games. I was watching uh, champ play yesterday. And Kojin, an absolute legend of the game, of course. You never lose it. That's the thing. You never really. You might lose the skill. You might lose the shots. You might lose the ability to make the the split second decisions, the plays, the mo the exact movement. But that can all be relearned very fast. The things that you can't relearn without a lot of practice and a lot of focus is this map ga uh, map gameplay and the non moment to moment stuff. The in-between times, like that, you, you, it takes a long time to learn that positioning, that repositioning, that constant wait for Carl to go through and then just land the rail. Don't chase, he's going to go round. It takes a long time to learn that, but then you never really unlearn it. Or at least it only takes a few games on a Pacific map to get it back. And Kojin definitely knows that. He is playing a fantastic game here. Great shots coming from him. Absolutely fragging out now. He's managing to get these spawn frags popping off. Carl's up the top. Kojin just going to wait down the bottom. Connects almost directly. And he's finding more and more frags. And he is just, again, controlling this map. Carl has... Uh, Absolutely no chance of making this back up, but it is interesting to see the way that he's playing. He's he's pushing in, pushing in, trying to do damage, but Kojin's able to heal faster than uh, Kyle's able to do damage. Now we see the uh, the arc come out, massacre. and we see another massacre pop off. Impressive, amazing, just all of the awards coming up. Great to see the medals popping up as well. They are cool. They are very, very cool. Carl heading towards that teleporter. Tried surfing it in, but couldn't quite surf the rocket into the teleporter. Unfortunately, that just means a predictable line straight out the back. Great play from Carl there. Not pushing. I'm really... I'm looking now... I know it's only a few seconds left, but I'm looking now at plays from Kyle that are 
Oh god, that was that was bad. But yeah, plays from Carl that are, have been uh, they've been tactical and given him some chance. Yeah, now we see at the end, no control. Carl, uh, absolutely nothing coming along. He did manage to do more damage with the uh, with the mortar, but oh, the mortar and the rail somehow. No. <laughs> Why is it white then? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not quite sure how this all means. But great game from both of these players. Hopefully, we'll see some more um, some more improvement through the games. I've got a few more games with Carl versus Tommy, and I think some with Carl versus Kojin. But yeah, a decent game. Glad to have cast Kojin game finally. It has been slightly on my uh, list of things to maybe try and get. But thank you for watching. I will see you for the next cast.